is finished. It is finished. Says the Lord. He said anything on your body. It is finished. Sickness on your body was dealt with by that singular sacrifice of our Lord Jesus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, finished. The devil has no legal right anymore to afflict you. It is finished. Child of God, it is finished. My brother, it is finished. My sister, it is finished. You have been redeemed. And let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom you are redeemed from the power of your enemies. You are redeemed. You are redeemed. Don't listen to the negative voice, to, to, the, to the harassment of the devil, to this force that comes to tell you it cannot happen. I stand here as a child of God this morning to tell you it is done. Jesus did it on the cross. Not only the redemption of your soul, but the redemption of your body as well. It is finished. Any part of your body the enemy has afflicted, tell him to go. It is finished. Tell that affliction to go. It is finished. It is finished. It is all done. No, no, no. You cannot carry that affliction. You cannot carry that affliction. You cannot carry barrenness. You cannot carry that affli affliction anymore. God brought you here for that purpose. That you may know that your freedom has been purchased. That the original plan of God restored by the result as a result of the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And the Bible said that that same power that raised Jesus from the dead is walking. He's walking here today, this morning. Oh yes, it's finished. Oh yes, it's finished. It's finished. None of them can by any means redeem his brother or give to God a ransom. God has to bring his own lamb who paid, who paid, who has paid it all on the cross. Who has paid it all on the cross. Who paid it all on the cross. He paid it all on the cross. He purchased it for you. Purchased it for me. What is it that is bothering you, my brother? What is it that is threatening your peace? What is it that is threatening your life? It is finished. Oh yes, it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Say is alone. Oh, it is finished. It is finished. That runs through eternity. It is finished. It is finished. Say is alone. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give praise. We give glory. We give honor. We give worship. We accept what you did on the cross. We accept it was our sins that sent you to the cross. We believe it was our sins. Cleanse everyone. Wash everyone. Every nature of Satan. Every nature of evil. God, by the power that raises up from the dead, let them be broken this morning. As your children cry out to you, as your children cry out to you, Lord, anyone that is not saved from sin, God, this morning, this morning, Holy Spirit, this morning, the people you have brought to the altar, let there be a deep conviction. Lord, let there not be any sin anymore. The power of sin broken. The power of sin broken. The bondage of sin broken. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus listen carefully there are some of us who have come out here for salvation before I pray this morning that there be an assurance by the Holy Spirit in your spirit in the name of Jesus. For the Bible said that the Spirit himself, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, bears witness with our spirits that we are now reconciled unto God. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone that is in this altar this morning, God, that the conscience continues to remind of past life. And each time utter call is made, it comes out. It's as though God has not forgiven. Papa, I pray that all such people, the Holy Spirit, we bring an assurance this morning that cannot be questioned by the devil anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. That it is all done. That the sins that have been confessed and forsaken God have forgiven them. Papa, I pray for consciences to be cleared, oh God, by the power of the Holy Spirit. That all such people will not come out again crying as though God will not forgive. I pray for such people that what they need, God, is assurance of salvation. Oh, blessed Holy Spirit, do it right now as they are kneeling before you. Let there be an assurance that they have been forgiven. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.